Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Hey, we're back with more Miraculous. We are watching season five, episode 13, Migration, which sounds like we're traveling, which is interesting. So I am very excited to watch. Hope you guys are as well. Keep in mind, I am kind of watching these in tandem with them coming out in English dub in the US on Disney Channel. So if you guys are really liking my reactions, consider checking it out on Patreon because you can watch them literally a few days after they come out on Disney Channel on Patreon instead of waiting an extra two weeks on YouTube. So thanks so much. And without further ado, let's get started. Sick music. <laughs> Luca. Hi, Rose. Hi, Ivan. Hi, Joka. Anarka. Luca. I was looking for you. Hey, <laughs> I, I wanted to talk to you about... The new kitty section stickers. What are you talking to him about? I was wondering if we should keep them. Throw them away. Or sure, that's really what you want to talk to me about. Well, why is she blushing? I forgot to grab my cable and pick, so be right back. Why, why, why is he holding her? Why is she blushing? What is happening? There are things I can't tell Adrian, but it turns out there are also things I can't even tell myself. And if I can't tell myself, how am I supposed to tell Adrian? Uh. Oh no, I'm the worst. It's so selfish of me talking to you about my love life when I broke your heart. It kinda is selfish. It's like really selfish. You didn't break my heart, Marinette. You enriched it with new songs. Ones that are sometimes cheerful and sometimes sad. The only thing that breaks my heart is seeing such a miraculous buddy be so hard on herself. So, you're saying that <laughs> I'm not cool? Or what the heck? Oh, thank you, Luca. I feel so much better. I don't know what I'd do without you. You know where to find me. Oh, I'm gonna Hello there, Marinette. Oh, <laughs> she didn't mean that was We're so stuck. good. <laughs> I'm sorry, being stuck. We should try to listen up. Oh. It's okay to be stuck sometimes. Oh. I can help you. Listen up. Nah, no, 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 no. It's okay. I can do it myself. So he does see them as Cat Noir and Ladybug. That's so interesting. Something's wrong with my keyboard. One of the keys is acting weird. You sure that's what you really want to talk to me about? <laughs> oh my god, Lucas just like the love guru. <laughs> if you can love someone fully, when you don't know them completely. Ooh. You know, I'm not always the same person when I'm with you or Marinette. Or when I'm with the gang, my mom, my sister, or my father. Which Lucas the real one? All of them, I guess. Aww. So you don't know me completely either. And yet we're still close friends, right? Luca, you're know so wise. Oh. Wise beyond your years. You know where to find me. Hey, son! Oh, I, hi, uh, I have a super important question for you about uh, this guitar pick. You sure that's what you really want to talk to me about, Dad? <laughs> oh, Luca. Wondering how I could become a better father. What can I do for my kids and that kind of stuff, you know? Should I take you on a trip to a theme park? I can't even write your songs because the ones you're doing with Kitty section are better than mine. Child. You could just spend time with us. I don't know what I'd do without you. Aww. You know where to find me, Dad. Oh my god, Luca, you are such a uh, good I mean, boy. I just, I just want to smush his little cheeks and hug him and tell him it's okay. We've been looking for him everywhere. He needs to be recording new songs right now, and Bob won't get off my back, and... You sure that's really what you want to talk oh to me about? Oh my god! Stop no, I don't know why I love your father. Boy, he doesn't deserve this! He's a good boy, and you all he deserves to talk about his feelings. He's going through a lot too. He knows the identities again to our ladybug. He needs someone to vent to. He needs someone to listen to him. Luca. Thanks, Luca. What would I do without you? You know hey, what? Where's Jack? He's Where do you my calls? Stop this! You all are adults besides Adrian and Marinette. Jack and Stone has a son. <laughs> I can't believe someone would be foolish uh, enough to have a kid with that good for nothing. A fool would be me, Bob, and you boarded my boat without my permission. Oh, yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? Call the cop? Or... Ah! Oh, mama. So, shall we begin rehearsal? I don't know if assault was the answer there, but... Go for it. Oh, oh my gosh, Luca! I'm glad we're tackling this episode finally. I've been waiting to have this episode to like see like 
why he knows their identities. I'm so happy for this episode. I'm so happy for this episode. So happy for this episode. I was waiting for the right time to have you guys sign the contract. There's no way I'm letting the kids sign anything with a shirt like you, Bob. Nobody asked you, Skipper, so why don't you make yourself useful and get us a friend so we can sign the contracts? Oh. Oh. Assault twice in one day, Mama? Pretty impressive. A contract that won't just protect you, it's going to spoil you. I don't trust that. Decide so we can put our little differences behind us and move forward. First Alpha! With a record company! Guys, do you think you guys can trust her? No, we should read it. Let's give him a chance. Okay, but don't sign it. Please read it and have your parents read it because you are all minors. You are minors! Your parents should be looking at this contract! Hello? Jackie Jr. will replace him. Oh. You can always turn a celebrity's kid into a celebrity. The rest of you useless zero talent kids can't clear out. Oh. Uh, you can't make me work for you without my friends. Of course I can. That's what contracts are for. Yeah. Read it and you'll see. Oh. Oh. You should see your faces. You shouldn't have signed. You should have been more careful and listened to the old pirate. Yeah, honestly. But you signed your mind. It's full of small, cryptic, and ambiguous phrases. Oh. You really tricked you. Can fire us whenever he wants? Yep, and I just did, by the way. The oh. kitty section belongs to him? Yep, it's ugly, but it's fine. Uh, he owns everything you've made and will make over the next oh, thousand no. years. Oh. Gotta cover all bases. Baroness costumes, the music video, Mino Shop, the website Milan runs. Oh, my. Yeah. We can't even start another band together? Of course oh, not. No. That'd be unfair competition. Everything belongs to me. Wow. That is a solid contract. Yeah, I respect that about you. Everything! <laughs> it's on my feet. No, no, Luca! Luca, no, 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 but Luca is the second worst person to get akumatized. And then third being Adrian. Silent. I am mother. Luca, fight it. Luca, fight it, please. Please fight it. Fight it. I said something else. Panic. Fear. Why are you resisting so strongly? Do you have something to hide? No, no. Could it be that you know? You know the identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir! Oh. No, I'll let you tell you! Oh. oh, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. That's why you're best boy, that's why you're best boy! I must find a way to make that boy talk! I'd oh, rather no. never make music again than make it for you. What if silence do? is the only way to what escape from you, so be it! You can't do that! I was gonna make you a star! And that contract you're ripping up was gonna make you millions! Money and contracts are just paper. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Gold record. I am Monarch. Oh my god, Luca. What are we gonna do about Luca? Monarch knows now. What do we do? That is so bad for us. Can you fix it? No. Oh. No, I can't. But Bob Roth didn't break me. He can't buy my letter too. Or maybe oh. betray my friends. Maybe I can't buy it, but thanks to this gold record, I can steal it and become rich! Oh, Rose, thank you, honey. You're so sweet. Oh my god, I don't Hold up. Wait a minute. Everyone in its own, my friend. Lame. Mm, it seemed like she really loves Julika. Quick, follow me. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Oh, Barbie. The hold is full. Go, hide in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> He's separating her on purpose. Oh my God, Luca, you are literally the best. The best. I am so proud of you. Luca, where's Marinette? Have you seen her? She must have hidden somewhere. Or gotten captured by Gold Record. I gotta go and help her. If she's been captured, the only ones who can help her are Cat Noir and Ladybug. Oh! Come on, oh my I can't. God, he just <laughs> Yeah, 
So with you people, it's like the lamer the better. That thing will never make me rich. That's beautiful. That was gorgeous. That was such a pretty song. What the hell? Oh my god, I can't get over how Luca was like the only one who could help her is Carrot Noir. Like, way to just throw it into Adrian's face. Cat Noir, it's me. You gotta keep Gold Record busy long enough for me to come up with a plan to defeat him. Don't worry, Milady. We're getting along like cats and dogs. Mm. We have a lot of like good jokes and puns. It's very enjoyable this episode. Oh, why is Luca with us? Oh, I guess she ran off with Luca. Never mind. I've got a plan, but to make it work, I need to use you as bait. But do you realize the risks? If Gold Record captures me, I'll reveal everything that's in my heart. I'm sure whatever's in your heart is no problem. Can, can you stop? Can we, can we not do this for five seconds? For it is Marinette. In this case, it is. Oh my god, he said it! Marinette! No big deal. You're not listening, Marinette. She's not! Everyone's allowed to be in love, even when things get complicated and- What? Did you just call me? Uh, I don't I know too. Oh, honey. I was careful. I was never- I know. It's not your fault. Or Cat Noir's. You didn't make any mistakes, and you won't make any today either. Oh. I trust you. Oh. What would I do without you? You know to find me. Oh. <laughs> I love Luca so much. How can you all not love Luca? He's literally the best character. He's so <laughs> sweet. He's just a good boy. <laughs> The rebel rebels come to his senses. No one can resist success at Mula. Don't stop, Kenoir. It's part of the plan. I'm kind of overtaking risks from the episode. Risks over risks. I would like safe and easy. Oh, so Marinette now knows. And so does Monarch knows that people know Ladybug and Cat Noir's identities, which is not good. So what do we do about Luca and Monarch? I guess Luca. Luca's kind of the problem, huh? Never! Jacket Jr. is gonna sing for me, or I'll make his little friend's lives hell. Oh, I acknowledge that you made an effort to remain calm and true. Word hell. H E double hockey stick. Whoa! You can't touch me. I've got the law on my side, and I can do whatever I want. They're minors. Oh no, milady! I'm afraid I'm about to transform back. I've got to run. Dear me, so am I. Such a shame. Oh well, bug out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, come back! I can draw up a contract for you too! Oh my goodness. Throw him oh, on! You defeated me today, Ladybug. But your time is running out. Oh, I'm scared. Now that I know the young musician holds the secret. Yeah, what do we do? What do we do about Luca? Luca's in danger! I'm so happy the kitty section adventure will go on. Yeah. But I have something important to tell you. I can't be a part of this adventure anymore. I... <sighs> I can't stay in Paris. I'd be a threat to everyone I love here because I know the secret identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir. <laughs> no one finds out, you're safe. Monarch sensed that I knew when he tried to accumulate me. Ladybug and Cat Noir will always protect you. I can't become your priority. Stop saying stuff like that. You're not supposed to say that kind of stuff. And as for the band, trust Julika. From what we heard earlier, she's the most talented one in the family. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Slow down with the yeah, heroic where, where sacrifices. Are you going? You're still a teen, Luca, and you'll do as your mother says. There is no way I'm letting you run around the world without adult where supervision. Are you going? Uh, when I saw Luca stand up to Bob, I knew my son was right. I tore wait. up my contract too and fed the scraps to Faye. Wait. Then I can help Luca with schoolwork when we're on the road. Wait. I your guitar is your only family. Well, from now on, my family would be my only guitar. season because he's just gone he's gone he is now traveling the world with his father and not coming back like he's just gone can he come back maybe when we defeat monarch he can come back but are you joking but no because someone else is going ugh. someone else will probably find out that he knows oh are you joking me just look and not come back I know people don't know because obviously we're I'm caught up. But did he not come back? <laughs> You're shitting me. <laughs> I'm laughing and I'm crying because I'm so upset. Like, what the fuck? I am so mad. I am so <laughs> mad. Uh, I hate this episode. <laughs> I can't even say it was this baby. I legitimately am so upset by this episode. Oh my god. Oh. Like, I feel like I should have cried more. I, I guess I can't really cry like weep weep because I'm like, yeah, I understand he can't be here. Him knowing their identities has been like really dangerous and it's been a matter of time. <sighs> it's been a long time coming for this episode. I think somehow like in my heart, I knew it was going to happen at some point. Did I want it to happen? No, but I knew something was going to have to happen because him knowing their identities is very bad and dangerous at everybody and the fact that he both Excuse me. He knows both Cat Noir and Ladybug is a huge risk for everybody. And obviously we can't have any more risks after risk. <sighs> so it is so upsetting to know Luca's leaving. And we're probably just like never going to get his character again. Which is so sad because he's such a good boy. He's such a good character. I just, I love like these tragic, sweet characters. Oh, they just, they wiggle their way into my heart and I care about them. And then they just like get hurt or ripped away from me, something. Oh. So I'm just so upset by this i know i i understand i get it i'm not upset at the writing because i think this is something that needed to happen i can completely understand that that is not like upsetting it's just my own attachment to luca that like makes me upset and a little bit angry that my boy is leaving but like overall i'm like yeah i totally get why he needs to leave i get that i do but i don't like it <laughs> Oh, I was so shell-shocked at what they were putting in front of me. I didn't think he'd just leave, though. 
I think that's just it. I didn't think he would leave. I... I don't know what I thought they would do. I guess we've just... He's known for a while now. So I guess I just kind of thought this would be here for longer. But I guess... I, I think we're getting close to the end of Monarch. So it's kind of an all or, or nothing type of situation once we defeat him. So I guess we kind of need to increase the tension and build this up and do this before we kind of get rid of Monarch at some point. <sighs> but it's so sad. But I think it's very interesting seeing kind of how Luca actually does see Marinette as Ladybug and Adrian as Cat Noir. He can kind of visualize them, see them for who they are which is very beautiful of him. And I think it also helps him to get over Marinette and his broken heart because of it. Because he can understand now why Marinette couldn't be with him and why there's something holding her back from being with Adrian. And I think for Luca, it's really sad. And I'm glad that he has this closure that like he probably never would have if he didn't you know have this trust with ladybug so it's nice that he has closure and he can you know be there for his friends and be there as a hero i want i was gonna say play the hero but he is being a hero you know he's kind of sacrificing falling on the sword to make sure his friends stay safe and the people he loves stay safe because they could get endangered as well. I think that's really important to realize. Like we saw that with Alia and her family, like they were in danger. So, you know, Luca doesn't want that for his sister or his mom or his dad or Penny. So it's very admirable of him. He's just such a good character. I love him. He's just such a good boy. He's so sweet. Oh, my heart just aches for Luca. Like, he doesn't deserve any of this. Oh, and just the way he talked to Marinette, he's like, you enriched my music. You enriched my song. Like, him being like, I'm so glad I, like, known, knew you and loved you. And I'm happier for it. Like, it was a good thing this all happened. Like, he's such a little sweetie. And just, he helps everybody. And he's so kind and understanding. And like me as an empathetic person wants to like be there for Luca and be that person for him. Cause like he's going through a lot too. And he needs someone to talk to and he can't be everybody's like, you know, like help friend. It's really sad. The, the selfless friend, like it breaks my heart. And I think it really breaks my heart even more. Because as I have commented quite a few times, Luca very much reminds me of my husband because he was very much that person. He, he loved guitar as well. He was a very sensitive, selfless person. He would just be that person who would listen to everybody and their problems. But then at the end of the day was left alone with their own problems because no one was willing to listen. So I, I think that's why I have such a special attachment to Luca. I even have actually her a rare moment I actually have. I wore it in one of my other videos. Please zoom in. Good enough. <laughs> I have my guitar pick necklace finally from uh, my husband. I pulled it out because it went with one of my outfits. <laughs> but I think that's why I have such a soft spot for him because he reminds me of my love when he was just a wee lad in high school as well. So it, it warms my heart and I think that's why I'm so protective of Luca because I see my husband in him. <laughs> and I should say that because I've been high school sweethearts with my husband. Just to make that very clear, I've known my husband <laughs> since like seventh grade. <laughs> just so we're aware and it's less creepy. <laughs> so I think that's why I love this character so much. Like. I just see so much of that and it just breaks my heart because I'm like, I want to be that person for you. Like, you deserve that person. You give, give, give. And like, you deserve someone who will give for you too and not just take. So it hurts. It hurts. And now he's just gone. Now he's just gone. He's like not even here. He's not going to be in these any of these episodes because he's away. He's so far gone. I hope that like my hope here is we'll get another episode that shows Kitty section 
and we at least like show Luca's on like an iPad or something. Can he just be the iPad friend that just has his own little chair and he's just on an iPad like what VTubers do at events? Can he just do that so that way he's like there but not there? That would make me really happy. Can like Markov like help us in Max? Can they make like a robo Luca? <laughs> Can we have a robo Luca? That's what I want after seeing this episode. I I want Robo Luca. I know this season has like technically been finished up in production, but can we, if he does not come back in season six, can we get Robo Luca? Is that so much to ask? If he's like forever a danger, can we get Robo Luca? I want Robo Luca. I just want Luca around, okay? <laughs> So sue me, I guess, because he's my character. I adore him. Ugh. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so sad. Uh, and like, I knew we had to do this at some point. I just didn't think he was going to leave. I don't know. I thought we would like do something else. I thought there might be like a different solution. Like, I don't know. Like, I thought maybe like... Maybe he would become like a like a, a guardian in training or something like have a role kind of like Alex does something like that. I know it's a little bit far fetched, but I thought maybe he might do something like that. Uh, Not just like go run around. Granted, since he is just running around, it's very easy just to pull him back and have him be Robo Luca. <laughs> Um, but I don't know. I hope Luca can have some greater purpose in the show because I'm going to miss him. I'm going to be really sad if we just kind of throw his character away because I think he's I think he's capable of a lot. And I know I have like a lot of faith in my boy, but I feel like he's capable of a lot more. So I hope that he does come back and can help us in the future. But I don't know. I feel like he's always going to be a risk now. So... I just don't I don't think it's gonna happen so we will we will see um I didn't really expect to cry today in this episode but I guess that's what I had to do <laughs> show I had to go hurt me like that so I guess but ugh, it was a good episode I'm glad it happened I'm glad we finally tackled this because I've been wondering like what's going to happen because Luca knew their identity so I'm glad it happened. Um, I'm excited for Kitty Section, though, New Direction. Uh, Julika's song was very pretty, so I'm excited to see kind of how their music changes and shifts. Um, I'm glad they didn't sign the record deal. Um, children under 18 and probably people under the age of 20. Lawyer up. Get a lawyer to read your contract or at bare minimum have a parent look over it for you, okay? Don't sign nothing don't talk okay say i need to speak to a lawyer that's what you say that's your that's your wisdom <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this with me i really do appreciate it and please make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button that way you can comfort me and my pain 